uh, you know, Jerusalem is a pain in the whole world's ass. Now, oh, my God gave it to me. No, my God gave it to me. But first of all, all of you sound like total morons when you start talking about God's giving it to you. And then second of all, you got nothing but wars. A little, look, bulldozer is my plan for Jerusalem. Bulldoze the whole damn thing so nobody goes back in it. It doesn't have to be extreme in how we deal with our allies. It doesn't have to be either we support them unquestioningly on everything they want or we abandon them completely. It can be a reasonable middle ground. We don't do everything our allies want, whether it's Saudi Arabia or Turkey or England, except Israel. If Israel says something, it's the law of the land. We have to follow completely. And I'm tired of it. I know a lot of people in this country are sick and tired of it. Why? Why do we have to support the settlements? The settlements are outrageous. I know. They're and, grotesque. And, and what gets you is the excuse is always, we need this strategically to protect ourselves. Actually, they tend to choose land that's just the more valuable land and with better you know water, be... better location, better groves. You know what would help you strategically to protect yourself? To go back to the 1967 borders. Okay. Now, people say, oh, sure, the Palestinians don't accept the Jewish state. Well, you don't accept the Palestinian state in the 1967 borders. So, and then, okay, no, oh, but you want to drive Jews. No, I don't. I want two states. I want there to be a beautiful, flourishing Israel that doesn't take Palestinian land. 1967 borders. Do I stutter? What part of that is confusing? No, we have to have certain parts of the West Bank. Then you're going to have war. And I don't want the Palestinians to war. I think they're idiots. I think I, the way they should go is the way Gandhi and Mandela went. Because it would accomplish, other than the fact that it is a more moral thing to do, it would accomplish their objectives a lot better. Now, having said that, those settlements have been ripping the Middle East and the whole world apart. And, we, and what did the U.S. do unquestioningly? Right or wrong? Yes, more settlements. The, and this is part of the reason why I think James Baker and George H.W. Bush were brave men. They tried to stop it. They failed, but they tried. And you have to give them credit for that. But if you really wanted to try, it would be pretty easy to stop. Apparently, they have decided to open up a parking lot in Israel on Saturday. How dare they? On Saturday? I can see a parking lot being open on Wednesday. I can see it being open on Tuesday. But on Saturday? Now, don't get me wrong. I know Saturday's the Sabbath uh, for Jews, and the ultra-Orthodox Jews obviously take that very seriously. I don't happen to agree with them, but they have their beliefs. But when they show up for a protest and we have video of it, it's too much fun to deny. Let's go to my favorite clip today, clip number 15. Riots breaking out in Jerusalem. Take a listen. Oh, get a load of the hats. Come on. Come You're looking on. at thousands of ultra-Orthodox Jews taking to the streets and taking on police. This is new video into Fox News getting pretty violent there at times. Police pushing and shoving the protesters. Some demonstrators even throwing stones. Look, that one right there being dragged on the street by his head and his feet, hmm. sometimes finding themselves under cars, protesting the opening of a parking lot on Saturday, the Jewish Sabbath. Jewish religious law forbids driving on the Sabbath, and the Orthodox accuse the secular government of disrespecting the biblical holy day of rest. Nearly, nearly 60 protesters were arrested. Uh, you, look, you got to give them credit for one thing. They're in the rest. They, they got the George Bush thing figured out. Remember George was like, hey, listen. Got to go down to Crawford, take a month off. God said to rest every once in a while. And he broke all records for vacations. These guys are like, no, 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 listen, you don't get it. We're not working on Saturday. But I don't understand that problem with a parking lot. Everybody in the parking lot's parking. <laughs> so, I mean, I understand the problem with driving to the parking lot and driving out of the parking lot. But in the parking lot, they're doing exactly what you want them to do. They're just sitting there. All right, anyway, come on. You know why I showed you the video. The hats. I love the hats. Look, I'm the bad guy. I know I'm supposed to respect all the different religions, and we get heat from every single religion every day, okay? Oh, you wouldn't do that to them, or you wouldn't do that to them. I just love the idea of these guys showing up at the gates of heaven and be like, Oh, Yahweh, man, we fought for you, man. Remember that parking lot scuffle we had in Jerusalem? Man, we threw our hats down on that one, so you we're in, right? You think God's really going to make that decision? I mean, you wear that. They wear that hat their whole lives. They just walk around with that thing. But it's like 100 degrees outside. 
I, I can't get over it. I can't get over it that they think that because they wear an absolutely ridiculous looking hat slash rest of the outfit, that God is going to favor them over other people. Say, so, oh, no, no, you got it right. If you don't have that hat on, you're out, man. You're out of 5,000. But those guys, come on in, come on in. And I saw what you did with the parking lot. That was some good work, man. I just, I cannot comprehend that level of irrationality. That you really think you're going to get into heaven because you wear funny outfits and you want to make sure that nobody drives on Saturday. That's nothing but cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I, I feel bad for all the people I'm offending. Apparently not that bad because I'm just doing it, right? But you can't do it, man. You can't be that irrational. You're, look, in the end, I think what God's actually going to do, now I'm going to get a little corny on you, is that if you actually do this, and there is a God, and you do go up to the Mita, He's going to say, what the hell did you waste the one life I gave you for? I already gave you a life. Why didn't you live that one? Instead of walking around in clown outfits and fighting things that don't make any goddamn sense. Think God would talk like that? I'm not sure. If he was a cool God, my God, I guess he would. Anyway, come on, man. Don't do it to your kids. Passing on these silly cultures one after another after another. And obviously, it's not just the ultra-Orthodox Jews. You got the Muslims, you got the Christians. Have you seen the Pope's outfit? <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about funny outfits. And then the other day, a friend's uh, father was saying, I saw this funny looking guy at the airport. He, the guy who's saying it is Jewish. He's like, but I couldn't tell if it was a Jew or a Muslim. He's like, they're, they're all wearing similar funny hats these days, and it's hard to tell them apart. God doesn't give a 